What's going on everybody? Uh, we're back to finish what we started in the last video with the evil energy stuff. Um, there was one fitting I was unhappy about. Right? So you ordered new ones. So I ordered a different one. Um, basically the banjo fitting that I got does not work with the Holly carburetor banjo bolt, which is actually still in there. The A and banjo fitting that I got didn't work with that. So we got a different solution for that today. And I'm going to show you how to fix that so that if you have one of these basic Holly carburetors, there's a, a fix to make it so that it is compatible with AN lines and uh, has appropriate thread engagement because that was our issue. So let me, uh, let me hand you over to, uh, to this one with her makeshift. I made myself. Uh, Put your logo back on. What are you doing? Uh, evil Energy. You know, Evil Energy. If you want to send me, you know, a sweatshirt, small, medium. <laughs> um, by the way, go check out Evil Energy's website. They have already started their early Black Friday deals. Um, they've got a bunch of stuff marked down. And on top of that, promo code OMB10 will get you an extra 10% off on top of their original deals. So go check them out. There's a link down in the description directly to their website. Don't forget, that's OMB10 for that extra 10% off. So moving on, uh, let's go ahead and get this fitting out of there and I'll show you what we're replacing it with. Uh, this right here is our banjo bolt as our, our banjo fitting. The issue was that the thread length on the Holly banjo bolt with this banjo fitting um, only went into the carburetor, spray and fuel, um, that much. You see, I turned, gave it a little bit, you know, quarter of a turn and it disengaged. It was in there just enough to put some pressure on it and uh, hold it and keep it from leaking so that we could move the car around. But there was no way we were driving it around that way. Um, just not nearly enough thread engagement when using the AN banjo fitting. So we're going to be replacing that. Um, Evil Energy does not make a fitting that replaces that. And I actually only found one manufacturer that did make a fitting that would replace that and go to an AN. And that uh, is Russell Fittings or Russell Speed Parts or whatever Russell is. It's a company that's under the Holly umbrella, Edelbrock, Comp Cams, all of them. The same one that owns, you know, a lot of the speed parts. Uh, but these two fittings are fairly inexpensive. You can get those and then your Holly will be compatible with a uh, AN fittings. Um, it comes with, you actually get a two pack of the fittings because a lot of carburetors have two fittings. This is a single feed carburetor. But uh, that's, our, that's our fitting. And the reason I say AN does have banjo bolts that are about this size with longer threads, but they are a different thread pitch. Um, and the only company, like I said, that had the right thread pitch for the carburetor was Russell. So that's what we went with. This fitting will now go in here, just like this. And we have an AN fitting off the side of the carburetor. We got to change out our banjo fitting here and snug all that up. And then we should be able to uh, move forward, I'm grabbing my my fancy dancy wrenches, which, uh, right, um, I guess we'll do it like this. For some reason, I thought there was a hex on there, but there's not. There we go. So. There's our, our banjo fitting that we're replacing. And again, the reason we're doing that is you can see the width difference between these two fittings. This is the original Holly barbed fitting. And you can see that it's a good bit narrower than the banjo fitting that I picked up. And I couldn't find another banjo fitting to AN that actually was more narrow or a banjo bolt with the right thread on it to uh, work with that fitting. So we're swapping that out. Um, we do have to add a 90 in line. I picked this one up from Evil Energy. Um, I was looking for one that was more of a sweep 90 for better fuel flow, 
but I also didn't, they did not have one that was female on one end, male on the other, and I didn't want to have to run a third fitting in line to connect this together. So this is what we got, which will work. It'll go on just like that. And then we'll reconnect our fuel line right there. And that'll close up our fuel circuit. So now I need to find some wrenches that are the right size. Actually, I need to find one wrench. The, uh, the Russell fitting is a stainless fitting, not a, an aluminum fitting. So I don't want to use my AN wrenches. Um, so I'm going to use a trusty adjustable wrench to spare me going to the toolbox. And these don't have to be super tight, just good snug on there. There we go. That's in. And then we put our 90 on. Let's see if we can get our angle adjusted right. So ideally going to 90s right here isn't great. I wonder, let's, let's check something real quick and see if maybe I set this hose up long enough to not need a second 90. Nope, I would have to remake. If I remade this hose, um, I, I could get it to where I didn't need a second fitting, but I didn't make it long enough because I wasn't anticipating this change. Um, but I think if we dig into our bag of fittings, I might have a better solution here. I have, we have a 180 fitting. Let's see, does that, no, that won't get us there either. So the reason the 180 won't work right here is flinging fuel. Um, again, I didn't make the line long enough. So these, this point right here and that point would have to line up. Um, ideally, a longer line fixes this problem, and you could run this 180 right here, but we're not going to bother building a new line right now. This car is slated to get a new carburetor, so we will do the uh, improvise for now, which is just adding this second 90. And that should get us going. Tighten, tighten, tighten. We're getting... And again, like anything with your AN fittings, no Gorilla strength on these things. It's not needed. You go Gorilla Strength on aluminum fittings, they will crack. So, that should be it, as long as our air cleaner still fits, or our base is what we're all concerned with. make a longer line super annoying no we'll just put the little air cleaner on it it's because of this drop base this is our this is this is super annoying because we don't have the hood clearance this is a whole combination of annoying i mean that did fix ish the problem just not uh enough it created a different headache i wonder I don't think the, what was it? I know we tried this base. What was wrong with this one? The, it didn't, it was too low. Was it? Or. 
and it'll have the same problem. Yeah. All right. Well, while I figure out what I'm going to do with the air cleaner, um, we'll catch up with you. All right, I have devised a solution via force. Um, I just took my uh, little ball ping, as you probably just saw in some of that uh, fancy little video, and I beat a little tumor into this thing. That's at least what it looks like on this side. Um, just opened up a little bit of relief right there. Uh, it's just a crusty old drop base, so doesn't hurt no feelings. And then uh, now, that drops right down. It's sitting on the, uh, the intake gasket. I did put a couple of alignment marks uh, with my Sharpie between the uh, top of the carburetor and the pan. Uh, that way it's just easy to drop on and know that it's in the right place. Now we can put, by all means, our air filter should sit, should still sit down in there, hopefully. Hopefully we didn't mess that part up too bad. Of course. I'll have to squeeze the air filter in. There it goes. So yeah, the air filter will still go in. It is a little bit of a squeeze right there, but uh, it'll work. It'll do for now. It'll do. So that solves that problem. Uh, we're not going to bolt that on just yet because we need to check this thing for leaks. Make sure our fitting sealed up good. Everything did tighten all that. So I guess we'll get her fired up. And then uh, we'll look the leaks.
simple fix to get AN lines onto your budget holly, if that's the way you want to go, uh, which is obviously what we're doing for now, is a combination of uh, this particular fitting. Like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below. By It's made by Russell. And it's uh, part number 640201, right there. That'll have the correct threads on it to thread into your, your holly carburetor that uses the small banjo fitting. And then you combine that with whatever fittings you're going to need with your AN lines, with however you're running them, and you're good to go. So, don't forget, go check out Evil Energy. Their deals are rolling. Make sure you use that uh, One More Bolt exclusive discount code. OMB10. OMB10. Right there. Until next time, uh, yeah, that'll do it.